welcome back to my channel. Today I am baking, can you guess, <laughs> banana bread. I'm making banana bread because why not? I feel like I want to get back into my baking era and I used to bake bread all the time. This is a lot simpler than actually baking bread because you haven't got to prove it or anything, but it's an easy way to get back into doing some baking. So I should probably start by preheating the oven. I'm not sure what temperature to, but I'm just going to turn it off. Ooh, 180. Step, I'm gonna have to, have to make some adjustments because I didn't buy the parchment paper because I don't think I need it. That's a tip. It's not a nice noise. I'm just gonna use my fingers. My fingers all over there. Just smear it. Wash those hands. People aren't washing their hands that much now since COVID's passed. But we need to get back to washing our hands. I saw a man yesterday at the bus stop put his hand sanitizer, scratch his front, and then put his hand sanitizer back and scratch his. One can only shoot that hole. Um, yeah, and I thought he's gonna walk around the city touching things all day as he just scratched his asshole at the bus stop. So, what should I do with the picky? First step done. The dish has been. grams of softened butter and 140 grams of cast sugar until it's light and fluffy then slowly add two beaten large eggs the little I have nothing to measure this out so I'm gonna do it by eye and I don't know if I'm very good at math so I need a bowl first thing I need is a bowl I find like that woman who does all the cooking on TikTok what's her name like Nala or something she wears like designer clothes and cooks can you be any more iconic I 
to play the ball. Like, when you're making cakes, they lick the, uh, the, um, the batter. Batter up. One time I ate, um, sugar wine. This is gross. One time I ate cheese bites. Everything, right? Cheese bites. They were Central City cheese bites from Morrison's. I would never go to Morrison's again. Food and Morrison's. Food and Morrison's is like multiple people that I know. So they're the only one. Yeah, I put those in Morrison's and um, they have like this weird crummy texture on the outside. If I see anything with that texture, like even if like the paving has that texture, it literally makes me feel ill because they made me so much. And like ever since then, I don't trust Morrison's food. And also I know other people have had issues with Morrison's. I don't know why I'm just, just sliding off the whole supermarket chain, but what they do to their food, but they don't refrigerate it properly, do they? I think it's just people pick things up off the sides, like so they pick things off the shelf and then they put it in their basket and then they don't want it and then they leave it in like, they leave it in a non-refrigerated aisle and it's a refrigerated food and then the staff are supposed to, when they find it, I used to run in the car off because I know this, when they find food that's not in the fridge, you're supposed to thin it and waste it because you don't have it out of the fridge for, but people put it back in the fridge, like people who don't want to lose stock, um, somebody buys it, this is starting to actually look like cake batter. I don't know about actually banana bread, so this technically is cake now. And then you've got to add two mashed bananas. Put them up. Stick them up. ripe it as they like, I don't know if they ship, I guess or they get it on the plane or they ship it over, I guess they put it on ships. They like put it in some sort of thing to try and ripen it, but they always come green, like they get picked before they're supposed to be picked from the tree. Because normally you pick fruit from the tree when it, it comes from the tree easily, isn't it? Or it falls from the tree and you get it from the ground. But these like bananas come like, like neon green, like they're not ripe, they shouldn't be being picked yet. Um, I guess that's the price you have to pay if you live in a country where you can't grow a lot of these. You don't want the climate to grow a lot of fruits. Sure, apples, plums, pears, strawberries. I'm just not like, freaking myself out about the quality of food because I just never eat. If you knew too much about food, you wouldn't eat. Do you know, like, you have to have like 70 insect parts, part, parts or something in like, in like food for it to be like legally deemed okay to sell? Something like you like more than that. But obviously insects and food is unavoidable. Doesn't mean it makes you feel any less sick. Here's the dish I prepared earlier, and here is my banana bread mix. Can I put it in the oven? Yeah. Yeah, now I've got to wait 40 minutes, I believe. <laughs> I should set a timer because We shall be back at 11.23. When I was a teenager, I'd eat all whole boxes of this on its own with water. I'd mix it with water and eat it. And I'd, and I'd eat, at one time I ate a whole box in one serving, in one go. That can't be good for you, can it? I don't know what it was, I was just addicted to sugar. Um, I thought I was addicted to personality, so I think that's probably why, but yeah, this was like crack to me. I used to like, like buy like a box not even from school secretly eat it in my room. <laughs> I had such a rebel. Oh my god, that smells so good. Okay, the cake's now done and I just smell it in the oven and it smells absolutely 
delicious. So now I need to make the icing topping. Okay, I guess I know how to make. You just add this water to make a drizzle or you add it to butter to make a butter cream. I think I like PCSD because I think you see the opposite eat that box of this, which I'm just like, be addicted to ice and sugar. Um, I think it's going to This is why you should follow the instructions. I, I fear that's not sweet enough. But I have got this this to put on. So that'll sweeten it. That'll sweeten it all right up to heart. This is very aesthetic drizzling. It's about to commence, okay? I've already done some drizzling because I did it. Um, I don't know if you meant to wait for it to cool, but I've already started drizzling now. <laughs> it looks nice when it sets. And it goes all crispy, crispy. I guess I meant to just do like a layer of it over the top. banana bread. I've already taken a bite because I wasn't sure whether it was going to be sweet enough or not but adding in the topping has made it sweeter. But yeah, cheers. 10 out of 10 would recommend making this to a 